In this work, we present probabilistic specification learning for planning with safety constraints. In the first case study, we show how non-marketing tasks can be learned using our method. First, let us assume we have a liking task of go to both fish and shipwreck in any order, with the preference of visiting shipwreck first and always avoid coral reefs. The liking task can be converted to DFA as follows. It is preferred to visit shipwreck first and then fish. We sampled 1000 traces and ran our method and got this automaton on the right. We can observe that the structure is exactly the same and the probability looks very similar to the original PDFA. Then, using the learned PDFA, we synthesize a plan on the original environment. The resulting path takes the preference into account and visits the shipwreck first and then the fish. We modify the environment so that the fish blocks the shipwreck. Notice that the path has changed to visit the fish first and then shipwreck. It computes the most preferred plan, which is the correct behavior. In the next case study, we will learn the specification of a task from a small number of samples presented in the following paper. We now have a new environment where the latent task is to visit a charging station if not wet. If wet, the robot has to dry up the carpet and always avoid lava. Green is a charging station, yellow is a carpet, blue is water, and orange is lava. We learn from a small number of demonstrations and obtain two different outputs depending on the hyperparameter alpha, which is the measure of how aggressive we allow merges in the DSM algorithm. So, higher the alpha, smaller the automaton. Left automaton learned all the specifications of the task, however, the right automaton only learned to visit the green charging station denoted by G and print all other information. If you use this for synthesizing a controller on a different environment, it computes a plan that induces unsafe behavior that goes into the water. But if you embed safety specification, our method always guarantees a safe plan regardless of any hyperparameter values or any number of demonstrations. In conclusion, we propose a new approach to task learning and planning with safety guarantees. Next, we sample a large number of demonstrations and learn a more generalized task that can be applied to different environments. We now change the robot dynamics to see if our algorithm can compute a plan that satisfies the learned task. Even for the robot that moves in diagonal direction, it can come up with a plan that can accomplish the task without violating safety. Similarly, for the rotate and directional robot, it can come up with a plan that satisfies the task. We now transfer to other environments. Even if the environment gets bigger than the training environment, it can successfully reach the charging station. This is true even if the robot dynamics changes. Now, if we block the corridor, it goes into the water, visit carpet, and then the charging station. This is true even if the robot dynamics changes. We also apply to a manipulator. The latent task here is to build an arch with columns made of cylindrical objects on bottom and rectangular blocks on top. We provided three different lengths of demonstrations that accomplish this task. Given primitives, the robot learned where and what order to place each object. Using our method, we successfully learned the underlying task, which is to place the cylindrical objects on the bottom and the rectangular box on top, and came up with a plan that can complete a task in the shortest manner. In conclusion, we proposed a new approach to specification learning and planning with safety guarantees, embedded its preferences, and compatibility with various robotic model and environments. 